うん奇病ってのはお昼だと思うけどね急死したってのは本当。神主さんは綿流しの準備で大変だったと思うし急性心不全とかそういう感じのよくあるやつだったんだと私は思ってるけどねでも綿流しの日にってのが異常でしょそれも3年連続で普通に考えたら人の死がこうも同じ日に重なるなんてことは考えられない警察も検視したみたいだけどその後に特に騒がなかったってことは死因に不審な点はなかったってことじゃないのまあでもシオンの言う通り人の死が3年も続いて渡流しの日に重なるとやっぱり普通じゃないって思うねそれにさっきお姉も言った通りお社様にたたられそうな人ばかり開始するこれは絶対に何かありますたたりでも陰謀でもとにかく絶対裏に何か因果関係がある I decided to meet up with Mion at the library near the Okinamiya train station. It's not that I don't trust Mion, but I don't want to let her know where I live. Whoa, the voice crack. Excuse me. Not many people use this library, so I won't see anyone from Hinimizawa here. It's very convenient for meeting someone in secret. After we discussed my life plan and work schedule, we moved to Small Talk. I've been away from this town for years. Things have changed. I asked Mion about those changes in detail in order to fill the gaps. While talking about various things, I brought up what Uncle Yoshiro had told me about Oyashiro Sama's curse. Even before I left town, the curse had already struck twice. Or struck even. The dismemberment murder on the first year left quite an impact. And the year after, the pro dam activist couple fell off the cliff. On the day the villagers were enjoying their first Watanigashi festival, since the dam project was indefinitely frozen. This one also left quite the impact. The evil construction site manager was punished. And the next year, the traitor to the village met the same fate. If it had happened only once, people would have concluded that it was just a bizarre coincidence. But when it happened two years in a row, people were far more likely to believe it was a curse. I know up to that part. And after I left town, the curse struck again for the third time. People talked about the curse more intensely than ever. Both in Hinamizawa and Okinamiya. I have to rethink this. Oyashiro Sama's curses drastically gained credibility while I was away. It was still unclear with the first two incidents. But after it continued for three years straight, people's doubts changed to convictions. Even though the priest who died in the third year wasn't an enemy of the villagers, the fact that people in Hinamizawa didn't care much for him. Added even more credibility to the idea. Kanushi was Tashka Kiraware Masendeshta? Dome no Yakuin Kara. Hm. Hiori me Shuginan Janai Kate Tatakare Tedane. Senso Maki wa Dome Naidemo Kageki Nadidon, a Makari Tote Takara. Kanushi san no Onken Nadaido wa So you hito tachini tote, Kinikua nai mono data to Mone. The priest did look strict and scary. The way he spoke was always so formal. But in reality, he was very warm and reserved. Maybe it was because he was a son in law, having married into his family. I'm sure the priest and his personality were the perfect fits for managing the shrine that was used for summer festivals and village meetings. But that gathering spot style atmosphere of the shrine. Changed completely when the dam war broke out and it became the headquarters for the Onigafuchi Guardians. Prior to the dam protests, hardly anyone worshipped Oyashiro Sama. Of course, the devout elders paid worship to him, but the average person treated our god like how you treat fortune telling. Once the dam protests began, 
Well, Yushiro Sama was suddenly hauled out as the symbol of the village's resistance. Tracing the Oyashiro Sama faith back to its roots. It was an exclusive elitist faith that believed its members were descended from a holy ancestor, different from the masses at the foot of the mountain, and that those tainted masses should never come near the village. Of course, such self-centered ideology wasn't acceptable anymore in peaceful post-war Japan. So this doctrine was abandoned over time. Still, that idea remained, and they trudged it back up to fan the flames of nationalism and unite the town against the dam project. With the revival of those ideas, things only grew more radical by the day. And it didn't take very long for the Onigafuchi Guardians to become aggressive. After that, we were in a state of war. 100 million burning is one. Kill the white savages. Want not but victory. Adults and kids are both gnawing at the bit. Avid to repel the foreign invaders. Describing it like that makes it kind of sound awful. Like a reminder of the dark times of wartime time Japan. But like I said before, for us kids it felt less like a war and more like a village-wide festival. Yet, despite calling it a festival, dissenters were treated coldly. Their heartlessness lived up to the expression wartime regime. The Hojo couple who voiced their acceptance of the dam project in the midst of that atmosphere were truly brave. Then on the second year of the curse, they died in an accident. And everyone believed it was Oishiro Sama's curse without question. So they were branded traitors and enemies of the village. The Hojo couple faced worse than just being ostracized as traitors. Everyone gave them the cold shoulder and talked behind their backs. The only person who didn't treat them badly was the priest. While the priest never objected to the anti-dam movement, he also never objected to the Hojo couple's advocacy for accepting the government's eviction and restitution to rebuild their new lives. Those unforgivable Hojos became a slogan as the three families, especially the Sonazakis, united the village by turning them into scapegoats. So they must have found it very shameful to have a fellow member of the three families approve of that especially when it was the priest of the shrine that had become a symbol for the dam pro uh, protests. As a central figures in Hinamizawa, the three families were the backbones of the Onigafuchi Guardians, so a difference of opinion was undesirable, and the priest was never accused of anything. But secretly, people whispered that he was a heretic and that he was unfit to serve as Oyashiro Sama's priest that Oyashiro Sama's curse would soon strike him down, along with other rumors. He was pretty cool, managing to keep his head and remain neutral, while everyone around him grew fervent. I thought Mion would share my opinion when I chimed him back in. So when Mion gave me a forced smile and didn't agree with me, I was taken by surprise. うーん。本当に大人だったら、あそこは周りに合わせて協調すべきところだったと思うね。古田のおじさんは単に神社の神主だっただけじゃなく、仮にも御三家の一つ、古田家の長だったんだからさ。稲見沢全体が結束しなく
We've never had a difference of opinion this big. It wasn't an enjoyable feeling. I decided to probe her some more. Ah, uh, voice cracks all over the place. つまりそれって何村全体を考えて、カンヌさんは自分の考えを隠しているべきだったって、そういう話要するに、全体主義の中でこう主張するなと、そういう話別にそこまでは言わないけど、ただその、やっぱり御三家の王さんの一人なんだ
I have to emphasize that I don't hate her. And I'm well aware that she loves me. We both know that. Mian must have been hesitating to put the candy of the successor in her mouth, and was waiting to see if I was okay with that. Whoa, 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 ba back up a little bit, Mian. I tapped her forehead with my fist lightly. Mian put her forehead against my fist as if trying to feel the warmth. She's Mian. And I'm Shion. She's the successor of the Sonozaki family. And I'm just a vagabond. That isn't a distinction, but rather our individuality. We shouldn't worry too much about the other anymore. We should feel relaxed. Living is who we are, with our own characteristics. I didn't have to say any of that out loud. We can communicate by touch, just like this. うん。ありがとう。しよん。頑張ろう、みよん。困ったことがあったらいつでも相談して。私たちはいつだってそうやってきた。それはこれからも何も変わらないよ。うん。うん。Mion kept nodding, with her forehead against my fist. I said goodbye to Mion before it turned to evening. We had talked about the things that had happened during my time away, and I enjoyed having that chat between sisters very much. We were able to dissolve our unsettled emotions. We didn't used to do that. Maybe it's because we hadn't seen each other for over a year. <sighs> it was late afternoon. My heart felt lighter now. I stretched and looked up at the sky. The sky was clear, blue, and far away. No matter how tall I grow, I'll never be able to touch that sky. I'm Shion Sonuzaki. A girl who escaped from the life she was forced to live. Nobody will praise me for what I did, and for what I'm going to do. But this is what I chose. <laughs> I psyched myself up. I should go shopping for dinner. Though I have Kasai's help, I need to save money. I love junk food, but it'd be cheaper to cook. Ironically, the culinary classes from that evil school will come in handy. Why not go to the shopping district in Kami... Ishiki? Hmm? If I'm going there, then I'll need to take the other street. The cool breeze in the late afternoon felt nice on my skin. Kasai came to the door while I was putting stuff I bought into the fridge. Nice bear. Super brain. First live? お疲れ様です。買い物程度で疲れてちゃ黙んないよ。あ、カサイも食べてく。一人物にはスーパーの野菜の単位は大きすぎだしね。Kasai looked curious about what I'd cook. Che,その顔は全然信じてないな。見てろ。これらは冷蔵庫でいいんですか？入れておきますよ。あ、悪いね。二人分だとお米はこのくらいかな。よっこらしゅった。Kasai skillfully packed food into the fridge, while glancing at each item in turn. He noticed something. I hadn't bought any. That was, of course, on purpose. うーん。理屈じゃわかってんだけどね。無理強いされりゃ食べないこともないけど。
忘れてくださってもいいのにああもううっさいな男が厨房にチャラチャラ出入りしないテレビでも見てておとなしくしててよキサイチャクルドンレフト I know this sounds stupid but I hate canned food Somebody told me there was canned food in a meal I just ate. I throw up. It started with a silly thing. Kasai told me a horror story when I was little. You know, one of those urban legends about meat made from an unknown source. Like those rumors about how there's worm meat mixed into burger patties, or dog meat and beef bowls. Kasai had fun telling me one of those stories because of how scared I got. He had fun, but I obviously didn't. I even started to cry in the canned food section of a supermarket. That's how much I hated it. I don't freak out like that anymore. But I still don't like canned food. Since I don't like it, I don't force myself and I now live my life naturally avoiding canned food. One of the big differences between us twins. Is that Mion doesn't have this issue. Kasai feels responsible for this, but he can't rid me of that fear. Still, a flaw like this is actually a good thing, otherwise, I'd be too perfect. Ha 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 ha! Kasai, the screen is in the window. Good smell. You still look very scary. You look very scary. あとは勝手に牛丼屋さんにでも行くことあテレビを切らないで私は静かな食卓ってやつが苦手だからではいただきますで笠井何の用だったの何か用事があってきたんでしょ I handed him a cup of tea I could wait until dinner was over but I wanted to get to the point quick 食事が終わってからの方がいいかと思ってましたが食べながらにしますかカサイが来た時点でずっと何の用か気になってるから先に行ってくれた方がご飯の通りがよくていいかもです自宅に学園から電話が今日ありました、yeah. I was kind of wondering when the school was gonna like get into the loop here because they should have known pretty much last night that she wasn't there even if they didn't discover her they wouldn't have seen her at the,、uh, the lights out or whatever it was And then they would have been searching for her, they wouldn't have found her, and then maybe by next morning, midday, is when they would have made a phone call like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm s a Akane san is my mom. That's what Kasai calls her, as he's known her since before her marriage. I was lucky she answered the phone, since she's relatively on my side. アカネさんなりにタイミングを測っているんでしょう。多分二三日中には話すものと思います。親父はばあさんよりだからな。耳に入れば自動的にあいつにも伝えるだろうな。で、伝わったら見つけ次第即刻ここへ連れてこい。申し開きの遺憾によっては、指の一本や二本ってことになるだろうね。おっかない子って。笑い事で済めばいいんですがね。シオンさんの指だけじゃ済まないかもしれないってとこだけ。よあちちちち。<笑>がっつくからだよ。あ、ちなみに味噌汁もご飯も作りすぎてるから、おかわりは強制ね。三杯は絶対食べること。A few days later, Mian had told me that the hag had heard about my escape. 親父はばあさんよりだからな。耳に入れば自動的にあいつにも伝えるだろうな。I thought I was gonna say a few days later he finally stopped being 
in pain from all the food he had to eat. Three servings. もし開きの遺憾にによっては指の一本や二本ってことになるだろうねおっかないこってバッチャは簡単でさもしもお気の宮界隈に帰ってきてるならそこく見つけ次第自分の前に引っ立てろってさうこわで実際に親父とかの同
She begged me with a look. To be honest, I was really exhausted too. So I felt a bit annoyed when she tried to make me say it. But I needed to pacify her. So I gently told her what she wanted to hear. Satoko clung to me while her tears continued to fall. She was crying again silently. Satoko was shivering pitifully. Her small back reminded me that there was nobody else to protect her. Satoko smiled faintly and nodded. I felt dizzy. As I was released from the strain, a harsh drowsiness fell upon me. While Satoko was washing her face, I went to the toilet. I zoned out while watching my pee. In my dizziness, I almost missed the shot. I felt like I was being sucked into the toilet. I couldn't even remember what caused it. Why did my aunt start screaming today? Hmm. So I guess now that I'm thinking about it, if it is a year before Keiichi arrives, this would be the year that Satoshi leaves. Or, you know, whatever happens to him. It's good to know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Higurashi. Bye!